video I'm going to go over and explain to you what it looks like when the seals on a turbo are bad. Often people use the term the turbo has blown the seals and they use that pretty loosely and don't really understand what that, that actually means. I'll also show you a couple cases what it looks like when the piston ring seals are still good but the oil is leaking out of them and how to fix that. Here's an HX35 turbine shaft. Here's the rear seal that's on it. What happens when the piston ring seal actually goes bad is that it wears out from usually from in and out play of the turbo. So the shaft will move axially like this and start to wear out this piston ring. But it doesn't necessarily always happen like that. But that's usually the most common thing that I see is if the thrust bearing goes bad first and then turbine moving in and out causing this piston ring seal to wear out as a result of that. Now I'll show you what a seal looks like that's not on the shaft so you can get a better look at it. Here's a piston ring seal that's worn out. This one isn't as bad as the one that's on the shaft. You can see where it's thinned out. There's an edge on it. Where the edge is is the thickness that it used to be and it's thinned out in the center there. They'll also become really sharp, so you got to be careful not to cut your fingers from that. When the tolerance wears out side to side, it, it allows the oil to pass through on the exhaust side. It can also happen on the front piston ring seal as well. Usually it's pretty common to happen like that on the ball bearing turbos for the front piston ring seal to wear out from some in and out play, but it can be corrected. Another thing to pay attention to is if the turbine or if the turbo is leaking oil and you go to rebuild it and you want to put a new piston ring seal on there, there's things on the turbine shaft that you need to check. So you want to take that piston ring, put it inside the seal groove, and take a feeler gauge and measure the gap between the piston ring and the turbine shaft, and it should be two and a half thousandths. The other thing to check is so sometimes you could have it wear out the, the shaft where instead of wearing out the piston ring or it could wear out both the shaft and the piston ring. So sometimes the shaft needs to be replaced. If you put a new piston ring seal on there, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to fix it. Most of the time it will, but on the occasion the shaft also needs to be replaced. This shaft actually isn't any good. But it's not because of it wearing out like it did the piston ring. This one, it's like the shaft is a little bit rounded on the edge. Now this shaft right here has some wear, so it should be thrown away and replaced. What I'm looking at right here is this area. You can see that this corner is rounded. Watch as I turn it, it'll square up a little bit. And it's just rounded in this area. So this shaft is probably bad, so I rec would recommend throwing this one out and replacing it. I have a lot of good used shafts where I do upgrades. So if you ever need a shaft and you want an OEM one, a lot of times I have some that are still good. Now here's an example of a shaft that is still good on the piston ring area. See how it's nice and square? It's nice and square here, no rounding. This is how the shaft area is, or piston ring area is supposed to look. One common example of why a turbo is leaking oil and the customer claims blown seals is often because, well, I think the most common problem is that the oil drain is just too small. So this drain is for a Mitsubishi. This drain is 14 millimeter inside diameter. And this is a whole set bearing housing. So for the whole sets, their drains are 20 millimeter inside diameter. So if you put a drain that's designed for 14 millimeters of flow onto one that's designed with 20, and this turbo, you could flow a lot more oil through it. And often the oil cannot drain out of the actual drain tube because of its being so small. So the oil backs up into the cartridge 
and once the oil backs up enough eventually it becomes pressurized in the cartridge and gets forced out the piston ring seals even though the gaps are very small in the piston rings the oil will be forced out of them because it's now pressurized in the cartridge otherwise if you corrected the drain and then made it bigger and got that pressure out of the cartridge it'll fix the problem and you don't have to go back and redo the rebuild or replace the parts as long as you didn't run that cartridge long term like that another thing that happens if is when people put way too much of this black rtv silicone on their drain and then because they have so much on here it cakes up and blocks off the inside of the drain that's about the second most common problem that i've seen i hope these videos were helpful if you have problems trying to diagnose an issue with a turbo blowing oil you can comment them below and i'll try and answer them for you